I'm back. Okay, so um, just picking up where we left off. Other things um, that are happening in this poem that are interesting, uh, a use of alliteration. Now, you might be like, what? What's alliteration? I don't know what that word is, so I will tell you. Alliteration is where they start the word with the same consonant sound. Um, so people often use these in tongue twisters, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers? How many pickled pickle peppers did Peter Piper pick? This is a pure alliteration, right? We have that P sound at the beginning of all those words, and um, there is some alliteration inside this poem as well. And I think it also helps the poem, um, gives it a little something special there. Okay, so look for that alliteration. I think that's it's a key a key piece of the poem. Um, what else is happening in here? We have a lot of use of imagery. So what is imagery? Well, imagery are, are words that are tying into our five senses. So if you pick a word that has something to do with tasting, seeing, hearing, feeling, or smelling, then you are picking a word that has imagery attached to that word, okay? And whenever we use those types of words, uh, our brains are just hardwired to really make those kinds of connections to those physical senses that we, that we have. And it always improves the poem. So I'm looking at this poem and I'm seeing a lot of imagery words um, to describe the place where the sidewalk ends versus the place where it's a road and a sidewalk. Um, they're very, very different in how they are portrayed. And it works because they're portraying it differently based on those imagery words. Okay. Um, what else? Rhyming. It's got a, a rhyming scheme as well. Um, and if you take a look at that, you can kind of see it's like the first line and then the second line's different and then the third line and the fourth line rhyme. But you kind of just have to take a look at that and kind of see how that works. Okay. Um, that one, I'm sure you all know how to look at the rhyming scheme. Anyways, I'd like you to do questions one to nine. I'd like you to read this poem a bunch of times. Really get it into your head. Really look at those devices because when you go to write your next batch of poetry, hopefully you're going to start using alliteration, repetition, um, imagery, and rhyming schemes to help your poems be better. Okay. Um, and if you can take some advice from this one, that will definitely help you to improve. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, so I'm going to make this work due on Thursday. Tomorrow being Wednesday, you have your three Sincane poems that are coming up on being due. Um, I'm really sorry. I did try to make a video yesterday and I don't know why my computer like was making funny sounds on it wasn't working. So um, yeah, I gave up pretty quick, but I figured it out for today. So that's good. Um, yeah. So for your Sincane poems, you got three that you need to do. They're interesting and they're kind of tricky because Sincanes are supposed to tell a bit of a story. Like you're supposed to have something happening. Okay, so really read through the instructions. Um, they're very, very clear on how to do it. You've got to do your syllable counts. You have to get that piece of something happening that kind of makes it like a story within that as well. Um, and you need to have all of that done. Good copy. That's for Wednesday tomorrow um, with some sort of um, image attached to it. So you if you are not an artist, please find something on the Internet that kind of helps your poems give some sort of picture for us to kind of like tie into and if you are an artist i highly encourage you to draw something beautiful um, take a picture of it include it in in your final product okay so again the um the, the new poetry section that you're making within your section of the binder that's your poetry folder and i'm just going to be looking through those pages um, to see your examples of poetry okay so you need to make each of those pages like a really good copy. So you can play with the font if you want to. You can play with the sizing if you want to of your words. You can play with the orientation of where those words are located on your page. You can add those images to, to help make it better. You could even change the color of the words if you want to. All those things are open to you to be able to figure that out. Um, yeah, so now I've got this little thing up here. I won't be able to I won't be able to turn off for another 14 seconds. OK, so I'm just going to talk again and just tell you um, how much I miss you guys and how much I am hoping that you guys are all doing well. And um, yeah, we're just going to carry on.